guys, welcome back to the soap room. I'm Jeannie. Today I'm making another Christmas soap. This is a custom bar, so I'm working out of my little mold again. I'm going to be working with this gingerbread cookie fragrance oil from Brambleberry. It's my first time working with this. Um, I'm feeling okay about it because of my design, but it is going to discolor to brown. It's also going to accelerate, which brown is fine for my design. And acceleration, I'm thinking, is fine because there's no swirl or anything or layering or anything in the bottom up portion of this bar. For the top, I'm going to be using titanium dioxide for some piping. I'm going to be using the Carolyn Crumb 1A tip. This is just the dollop tip. So I'm going to do a dollop um, on the top of this, kind of hopefully like snow covered roof inspiration. And then for the top with the pipe on top of the piping, I'm going to be using these little gingerbread men on one side of the soap. And then I think in the middle of the soap, um, the, the top, I should say the top, I'm going to be just using different colored um, soap balls. So um, they'll all look a little bit different. I have orange, yellow, red, green, and um, this is gonna have glitter on it. Probably just silver glitter, I think. So I'm going to put my gloves on and we will get started. two days since I poured this little gingerbread house inspired soap. I absolutely love the top of it. Not going to be much going on on the inside, um, but it'll be cute once it's stamped. It's a shorter bar. These loaves, um, they're thicker than my normal um, I'm sorry, not the loaves, the bars are thicker than my normal um, five pound loaves. So um, 
they're a little bit shorter, if that makes sense. They're, the bars are about the same size, just a little different shaped. So um, that's typically how I do the custom soaps. So my goodness, that was a lot of words just to explain that. <laughs> okay, so here is the first one with the little green ball and the gingerbread man. Super cute. I love the fragrance. I will definitely try that one again. It's, um, it's gingerbready, but it's also kind of fruity. So it's good. Definitely Christmas vibes. And, um, if you don't mind it discoloring your soap or if you can come up with a design um, where you don't mind uh, a brown soap. So I have done gingerbread soaps in the past um, where I piped on the front, had a little chimney, smoke coming out, really, really detailed gingerbread soap. And it was cute, but it was very labor intensive. <laughs> And those tended to be some of the bars I've shared before. I don't do a lot of high tops because um, people tend to say that they're too pretty to use. And that was one of the bars like I found people were like, I still have that gingerbread house soap that you made. And I was like, wow, that soap is like going on two years old. <laughs> So, and you know, even like the white piping on the top, we start to discolor after some time. So, um, I don't make a lot of those anymore. So these ones are kind of a good, when they're shorter, um, they're okay to be a little bit taller on the top with a few more embeds. So people tend to use those better. All right, guys, I'm going to speed up the rest just because we're kind of boring on the inside and I just want to thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one.